tell him we just getting started Ain't no way to stop it I got my blessings from my God Ain't no way to block it Yeah, I'm punching on the record, man I feel like Ali I put in work Okay, I'm clocking in I put in work Okay, I'm clocking in I put in work Okay, I'm clocking in Okay, ambitions in my veins And nothing stopping this I put in work On your playlist, we going crazy Yeah, I'm repping Broward County and it's never changing Yeah, I'm going, that never fades me You bring the danger, that's entertaining I feel like training I'm doing work Yeah, I'm Action. clocking in I'm doing work Action yeah. Oh, sorry about that I got carried away because we have a crazy amount of work to do to build M2 In today's video, we're adding $25,000 worth of mods To this brand new car that he hasn't even driven yet now, as you can see, we've already taken the M2 apart, so let's jump on in and get started. Now, for our first mod, taking a look at the car, you're thinking like, wow, they had to really strip this thing down. It must be something huge and complicated. Well, it's actually just the opposite. It's a P3 vent gauge, one of the best mods we like to do, and typically one of the easiest to install. The problem is BMW decided to come out with this giant screen that blocks half of your vent. So to get the vent out, you have to take the screen. So let's install our P3 gauge in the vent and reassemble all this. Now, while I'm taking this apart, I forgot to mention something huge. We're actually not positive that this is going to fit. Same with half of the other parts that we have for this car. You see, the M2 is brand new. Bill bought it on the day it was released, and a lot of manufacturers haven't had a chance to actually test fit their stuff. Now, thankfully, this car shares a lot with the G80 M3 and also the G82 M4, so we're hoping that, well, everything's gonna fit. So throughout today's video, we're gonna give you guys confirmation. We're gonna have everything linked for you down below on what does fit and what doesn't fit from vent gauges to wheels and cool engine mods. Let's go. All right, first mod, the P3 vent gauge went on flawless. And well, since we had to take the steering wheel off to do it, we might as well put a new one on. Now, while it's not totally necessary to remove your factory steering wheel to get that screen out, we thought, you know what, we might as well to prevent damage and, well, it gave us an opportunity and an excuse to upgrade. So we're going to be upgrading build to a BMW Genuine M Performance wheel with this nice little blue stripe that, as you can see, is going to go great with his car. I actually have the same wheel in my G80 M3 over there. Now, my car is an automatic with paddle shifters. Bill's car is a manual. It is the same exact part number, and if you flip it over, you will see that there are these little cutouts for paddles. So what do you do if you have a manual? You get these things. These are little plugs that are wrapped in Alcantara. They fill in the hole in the back of the wheel, and it's cool because when you're just driving down the road, you can feel Alcantara on Alcantara. So let me swap over all the components from this wheel to this wheel, and we we'll throw it in the car. wheel looks good especially with these little back thing cover the screw holes nice and neat all right g80 and performance wheel fits great looks amazing but you know what would go great with it you guessed it we have more m performance parts from bmw this is technically the alcantara armrest for an m3 we're gonna see if it fits on here because it's gonna go perfect with that wheel and i really hope it fits because well we already took everything apart. Let's throw it on and see how it works out. Next, we have our key stealth seat mount for a fire extinguisher to make sure the bill stays nice and safe. All you do is remove the front seat bolts, slide it under, throw the stock bolts back in, and tighten it up. All right, the fire extinguisher is fully installed and that's gonna keep Bill safe, but what about if somebody steals his car? Well, he already did the best thing you could do, which is buy a manual transmission because I feel like a lot of people aren't learning how to drive it. But whether you have a manual or an automatic, it's always good to install the Daler ATTC, the Anti-Theft Throttle Commander. It's going to give you full control over your pedal. You can make it more sensitive, less sensitive, or even kill it to prevent people from stealing it. So let's install it. Next, 
Next up, we're gonna make this car sound significantly better and also perform by trying to add 100 horsepower as we did on my G80 M3. But before any of that, if you take a look in the engine bay, you'll notice that there's no cooling over here. And we also removed the intake manifold, which houses the charge cooler. And that's because this part is known as the Achilles heel so far of the S58, where people are reporting that under high boost above 35 PSI or so, what's happening is the metal cooler is separating from the plastic intake manifold, creating a massive boost leak, but today we won't have to worry about that anymore. And that's because we are armed with a Wagner cast aluminum intake manifold. As you can see, it's all one piece. It's all aluminum. It's surprisingly light. It has the ability to add six more injectors if you want to go for serious power. And it has a built-in charge cooler, which is going to keep everything nice and cool. Speaking of that, while we were there, thought, you know what? To get the best cooling out of that, you need to upgrade your heat exchanger. So we have that from Wagner as well. And while we're there, we had to add a Keys charge pipe, which you may know gets installed way under here. You have to drain cool. One. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. So while we're this far, we might as well do it all. So with that, let's throw all this in. As you can see, we have the Wagner intake manifold fully installed in addition to the heat exchanger. Everything fit flawless like Wagner normally does. While I had everything apart, I did take the opportunity to install our Daler performance module. Now you may remember, I used to have one of these on my M3 and when I had this installed, it got me over 100 wheel horsepower, giving me 610 horsepower to the wheels. Now the M2 starts with a little bit lower horsepower rating, but still it's going to give you probably 90 to 100 horsepower to the wheels just based on what happened with my M3. So this little car is about to get real wild and a little bit squirrely. Now, while we're on a cooling kick, we do have one more mod for that. We have the Mishimoto oil cooler. Works on the M3, the M4, and now the M2. It sits right over here, right in the front of the car. So to do this one, we are gonna have to put the car up in the air. Ugh. Ugh. I'm like covered in oil right now. Whoa! <laughs> this is so messy. Ugh. <laughs> My mic is like, if you ever wondered how we do our mic system, that's why I wear a lanyard. They're just hearing like <laughs> They didn't hear me. Now that we have the oil cooler fully installed, let's put the car back on the ground. We'll fill everything up with oil, fill the coolant, and bleed the coolant system. car is filled with Likomali oil, the only oil we run in any of our cars. And in case you're curious on how much coolant a little M2 takes, we had this filled with about five gallons of coolant. Took it down to about here, so there's probably a gallon and a half left. Quite a bit, this thing was pretty thirsty. So with that, let's move on to some cool sound mods. 
One of the things I love about my M3 that shares the same engine as Bill's car here is the exhaust. I have an AWE, I had a Daler. Both the exhausts sounded incredible. So the first thing we did for Bill's car, since it's got the same engine, is we bought one and we tried to make it work. Every way that we had it with the Daler and also with the AWE, we just couldn't make it work where it wasn't gonna be a hack job. We wanna make sure that if we were promoting a product in any way that you guys are gonna be able to get it, you're gonna be able to put it on with ease. It's not like, well, how did he cut it? Did he have to bend the pipe? Did he have to weld it? We're not messing with that. We're just gonna wait until an EPA compliant exhaust comes out and then I guess we'll have to do a round two on Bill's car. But in the meantime, we do have a couple other things. First thing is we have a Daler flap control module, which is going to give you full control over your flaps because BMW does limit you from the factory. Then over in the front here, BMW on the S58 engine, they have this thing called a crossover pipe. And basically there's a pipe that comes off of your one down pipe. It goes across this way and then into the rest of your exhaust, but BMW squished it. I don't really know why. Here's the one from my car, but as you can see, they just like flattened it. So what we did is we got an Evolution Raceworks crossover pipe, which as you can see is perfectly round. So you're gonna get the best flow, a little bit more performance and possibly a little bit more sound. Over here, you can see we have the flap control module. And then under the hood, we have another thing that's gonna give you some cool whooshy sounds. And that is the tried and true MST intake. With that, let's get these sound mods installed. At this point, the MST intake is fully installed. It fit perfect. I think this is the first M2 to have this on. And I have to say it matches perfectly with the Wagner cooler. So super impressed with how this engine bay is turning out. Speaking of, you may have noticed I have a piece of carbon in my hand. We are going to add a couple more final touches as we start to put the engine bay back together. Now I can't put it fully back. I have to leave some of these covers off because as you'd have seen in the thumbnail, we are doing wheels, tire suspension, and way more. So let's put this on, and we have a little bit of an issue to deal with before we can put the bumper back. Now that that's all wrapped up, it is almost time to get this front bumper back on. Before we do that, we have two mods and one issue. If you take a look over here, we have painted reflectors. This is an OEM reflector that has been color matched to the body of the car. And then we have an issue. This is a set of genuine BMW carbon fiber air ducts from their M performance line. And as you can see, it adds a huge amount of styling to the front of the car. It's just an overlay. For the price you pay, you kind of expect to clip it in like you do on the M3. If you take a look at the plastic piece that we have to remove, there is a PDC holder for the PDC sensor. As you will see on the new one, there's not one. And as you will see, BMW decided to put a horizontal line in here and a diagonal line over here. They don't go together. So what did I do? I called BMW. They basically said that there's nothing. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to modify it. I have a hot knife under here. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to try to cut this horizontal bar off because really that's the only way to make this work. So let's pull out that hot knife and pray I don't screw this up.
point, the bumper is installed. We put the car back up in the air so we can install underbody protection. This skid plate is amazing and it protects a lot of the vital organs of your car. But the lifeblood of your car, your oil, is cooled by this oil cooler in the front. So what does BMW do? They give you a plastic protector. It literally cuts out your cooler. So we did two things. A, we beefed it up with the Mishimoto unit. But second, we are going to also install the all new Mishimoto skid plate. Same skid plate we installed in my M3. So with that, let's install this protection. done with that it is time to move on to some aesthetics we have a slew of products most of which you haven't seen before because they're brand new actually we're going to install a front lip from kg splitter that isn't even on the market yet but once everything is available all the links will be updated for you down below so let me grab our prototype front lip from kg splitter and throw it on the car So as you can see, we have the prototype front lift from KG Splitters fully installed and it looks incredible. Off camera, we got a chance to really check it out and it adds so much to this car, but we're not quite done yet because we have four more pieces to install. Now, if you don't know who KG Splitters is, yes, it's Kerry Getz, the former pro skater who won the X Games in 2001. He actually hand designed all of these kits and then they're professionally produced. So with that, let's install the rest of the kit and then we have more surprises waiting for you. We have the side skirt extension and also the rear splitter on and man these little parts add so much to the car i can't wait to show you what it looks like off the lift if you take a look you'll see that we have this set pretty conservative it sticks out about an inch in most locations but the way that this is designed you can actually pull it out more if you want a more aggressive look i'm going to do the other side and then we'll continue with some carbon all right in preparation for some new trunk lip options we took off that little skinny wimpy one that bmw puts on their powerful m cars come on bmw you can do better than that. Even if it's something small and subtle like this one here, which is made of real carbon fiber. As you can see, it adds a ton of styling. Goes with pretty much anything, like a good pair of jeans. But we have two other options we want to show you before we make our final decision. All right, for option two, we have something a little bit more aggressive. This is a genuine BMW trunk lip. And as you can see, it definitely has the aggression that we need. Problem is, it's a little bit pricey considering what you get when you compare it to option number three. Option number three, three is the keys dry carbon spoiler and as you can see ours on the right here is just a little bit bigger and has really good weave and has really good fitment oh yeah that is a total winner especially with the kg splitter setup this one is definitely the winner so let's install it Now to further enhance the trunk, not only do we install this trunk lip, which does wonders for this car, we also installed a blacked out M2 badge to replace the chrome one. We have a couple other odds and ends. Now I would just call this uh, carbon fiber cover for the uh, gas cap. BMW calls it the M Performance Fuel Filler Cap Cover Carbon. That's way more official. We have G80 dry carbon mirror caps we're going to be installing, sequential blinkers, some carbon bits for the interior and more. But before we get to any of that, wheels, tire, suspension, and a lot of really good stuff coming up, I do want to let you if you want to see this car, our G80, and all of our other cars, we are having our annual car show. Last year, we had over 650 cars. You don't want to miss this year's event. We're going to have racing. It's going to be epic, so make sure you're there. Check it out now. With that, let me throw this stuff on. Next, 
we have a mod that we've been dying to get our hands on for over six months since it was unveiled at SEMA, where BBS literally reinvented the wheel with their all new BBS Unlimited series. Now, what's special about these wheels is typically you buy a car, you get a set of wheels, it has a very specific offset, it has a very specific size, you get a new car and you can't use them. With the BBS Unlimited, that problem is now a thing of the past. If Bill goes from his M2, he gets an M5 or maybe an Audi RS6, these wheels will fit even if the bolt patterns and the offsets and everything are completely different because of some insane technology that BBS has come up with. But before that, we have a couple things we need to do to make sure these are perfect. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to correct Bill's wheel gap because it came with the 4x4 package from the factory, but today we are deleting that with AST adjustable lowering springs. Now typically, when you buy lowering springs, you get a spring and well, sometimes it sits too low, which was the case for me on my G80 M3. With the AST system, as you can see here, you remove the old perch, you put the new one on, changes your factory setup into a coilover and you can still plug it in. So you still have all of the electronic dampening control features from the factory. Best of both worlds. Second, we have the PSI SP1 brake pads. I absolutely love those. Now, first it's important because we're upping the power and we need to make sure that Bill is going to be able to stop. I run these on my G80 M3 and Zach and I drove 2000 miles to Florida and back. There was virtually no brake dust. I was blown away. I've had all kinds of different ceramic pads. Nothing has beaten this. These are a little bit pricey, well worth it for the stopping power and well, to save your wheels. And third, while correcting the offset and bringing those BBS wheels nice and flush sounds like a great idea and it is and it looks the best. Well, unfortunately, with your wheels sticking out a little bit further, you're gonna have a risk of shooting rocks down the side of your car. But we are armed with some TLG mud flaps, which is going to prevent all of that damage to Bill's car. As I finish swapping out the brake pads, do wanna let you know something important. As you may know, BMW switched to an electronic rear brake. What that means is you need a tool like Pro Tool from Beamer Geeks, which is what we use, to actually retract the piston. Otherwise, it's not gonna go on your brake loader. And now for the moment I've waited six months for, this is the BBS Unlimited system. It uses a universal wheel setup that bolts to specialized wheel adapters in a variety of different offsets so that you can dial in the exact fitment you're looking for for your car. By just changing out the wheel adapter, we could make this fitment go from an M2 to an F80 M3, which has a completely different lug pattern and center bore. For the wheels we have for Bill's car, the fronts are going to be a 20 by 10 setup and the rears are 20 by 11. As you can see here on the table, this is a customized setup for Bill's car. We don't really know what kind of offsets it's going to require, so we have a variety to make sure we can dial it in. These three right here are for the 20 by 10s. You can see they're a little bit less aggressive. And then in the rear, because they're a wider wheel, we needed a different size hub. So let's start with the smallest. We'll go up to the tallest, and then we'll dial it back if we need to to find the perfect fitment for Bill's car. So these hub rings are specifically cut for this car or really any G series. So these snap in here like this and you take these wheel bolts, slip them on like that and these stay bolted to the car at all times. Now, one thing that I really love about this setup is if you decide you want to run a different tire, you have the option to. And what I mean by that is on my G80 M3, for example, I was running regular street tires. I had R888 R's, and then I decided to go to a Mickey Thompson tire. The R888 R has a very stiff sidewall. The Mickey Thompson is like a balloon. Does not have a very good sidewall. It is not meant for making turns. It's meant for going very straight. Now, if you have a wheel that's cut too aggressive, you're kind of screwed. You have to buy different wheels. With this, all you would need to do is get a different adapter that's a little bit smaller and then you'll have space to fit bigger tires like that. All right, the only other thing is you have to snap in the appropriate ring over here and this makes it hub centric. So let's test it out. Wheels are on and color and style is on point. This looks so good on this car. What we're going to do to help speed up the process is we are going to install the next size up on the other side. So let's do that and then we'll compare. All right, so the front wheels with spacer number one, 
still sit pretty far in, so we're gonna definitely wanna pull them out. Let's see if this is enough. That looks really good. I'm not sure we wanna go bigger, but we will. Just for testing, we'll put it on the other side. And in the back, with the two spacer options that we have, this is definitely the winner. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to install this size on the rear, and then I'm going to install the most aggressive front on that corner, and then from there, we'll get this thing all wrapped up. All right, after testing out all of the different adapter sizes, what we want to do is let the car roll around and we want to let the suspension fully settle before we made any other adjustments. And what we ended up with is the 30 millimeter adapter in the front and the 40 millimeter adapter in the rear to give us an OEM plus look. As you turn the wheel, both going forward and full lock in reverse, you're not going to rub the fender liner, which is a big issue on the G80 M3 and the G20s. Now, before we let Bill see the car for the first time later on the video, let's show you guys what it looks like all together. Whipping through the city, German engineering, white on black, it's looking pretty, yeah. Yeah, I'm going, that never fades me. You bring the danger, that's entertaining. I feel like training, I'm balling. Feel like hardening against the guard, and I'm honest. Feel like John with my dogs are barking, they can't stop. What he started, I hear him talking, yeah. But I'm glad they only talking, I'm talking most definite. League is what I represent. Started lifting weights instead of slinging in my element. We just getting started like prerequisites. Take away my faith, never been ashamed to represent Man, I gotta keep it honest, don't want no problems I tell them we just getting started, ain't no way to stop it I got my blessings from my God, ain't no way to block it Yeah, I'm punching on the wrecking, man, I feel like Ali I put in work <laughs> Bill, you won an award. What do you have to say? This is the best day of my life. And I feel like I'm putting work. Okay, I'm clacking in. I'm putting work. 